everyone. In this video, we're going to cover query weight monitoring in SQL Diagnostic Manager. Query weights are one of the most detailed views that are available within Diagnostic Manager. And as you can see, we can break down wait times by statement, by application, by database, by client, by session, and by user. So by doing that, you have a lot of flexibility to really pinpoint exactly where the bottlenecks are coming from. Now, it's important to understand how query weight monitoring is configured. By default, query weight monitoring is going to be looking at real-time information only. Now, on this particular SQL Server, I've told the tool to collect query weight statistics 24-7 or indefinitely. You certainly can do that. It may not be something that you want to do on every SQL Server. It's a lot of information to collect. You have the option to schedule this to run during certain windows. Um, and then I will also point out in a second, I'll show you how you can have an alert response trigger weight monitoring for a set period of time. The method that we're using to collect query weights can differ. I do recommend that you use the default method, which would be through a dynamic management view. Um, so DMVs are a very efficient way to collect query weights, but on certain servers you may opt for extended events or query store. Again, I generally would go with the dynamic management view. Now, to get these weights to be collected through an alert response is relatively simple. If you go under alert actions and responses, if I look at this particular rule that I've created called enable query weights, it's a really simple rule. At the top, I define my conditions. The middle is the action. The bottom is the rule. So basically what I've said is if any of my production servers have OS disk time and SQL Server CPU, hitting a critical level, I want to enable query weight monitoring for 60 minutes, for an hour. So this gives me the benefit of letting the tool target certain problematic time periods and then have it escalate its monitoring to a much more detailed weight view as we can see here. Now the weights that we're viewing are in a timeline format. So we can see at the bottom the time that the weight occurred, the weight type, and then the duration but you can also change this view to a total duration view. So by focusing on duration view, it's going to be looking at whatever the weight type was over a certain period of time. Now, the period of time is something that you define. So in the history browser range, my time is defined right now as four hours. Um, maybe I wanna look at this over a 24 hour window or I wanna look at eight hours or 15 minutes. It's really up to you guys. But basically what we're looking at here is that write log was the most uh, intensive weight type or the, the most prevalent weight type that we had over the last four hour window of time. And then I could drill down into that and it would start breaking down this individual weight type by application statement database, etc. So there's plenty of, of opportunity for you to really use this to diagnose query performance. So for example, right now what I'm doing is just saying, look at the queries that have been picked up, top 10 in this case and then show me what weight types we are seeing, or I wanna understand which databases. So one of my larger content databases in the SharePoint farm had the most weight types. So maybe we wanna focus on the statements that were coming into that particular database. So this, this looks like auditing, right? So if I view the text here, this is an insert into audit statement that's giving me the most wait times over the last four hours on this particular server. So query weights are a very important way of getting a better understanding of how a SQL Server is performing in a detailed fashion that, that I think is pretty remarkable, not only in real time, but you can also use the history browser with this particular feature to go look at three weeks ago and see what the weights look like or an hour ago or a minute ago if that's what you need to do. So um, hopefully this gets you interested in query weights. If you haven't worked with them, please go in there and, and take a look. And uh, if you need help, let us know. Thank you.